Good morning, folks. The sun has been quiet, but still managed to drive geomagnetic storms to begin the week. We've got articles and weather news around the globe, but first we come to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star in 193 angstroms, revealing the sleeping giant. Even surface surging and minor pops in the corona are lacking at this time, and solar flaring doesn't stand a chance without the sunspots to light it up. Still blank, but those large fields you saw incoming at the limb may herald the return of some older ones that have made it back round their rotation. Solar wind here showing that the coronal hole stream impact is now finally ending. Magnetic storms dropped out, but don't be shocked by a small reverberation event if it happens today. While the energy integrated into our atmosphere, the electrical issues spread the wealth across the board of their potential influence. Could have been worse, I suppose. Don't forget that the northern coronal hole is swinging in there. Another day and a half until it faces Earth and sets another stream our way. Top article of the day discusses solar helicity, that's helix, vortex, like structures at the granule scale. If there are nano flares and solar flares, these are the nano version of a solar tornado. Let's come to weather and we start with a crazy hailstorm in southwest Russia. Stones bigger than tennis balls. Most of the data comes from Twitter as they have no electricity. Tropical storm Colin, setting flood stage conditions across its effect zone. It is now moving fast, and by the time we speak again tomorrow, it will have made its way well up the coastline of the United States. How far will it go? We'll see. Also, please note that in the Far East Pacific, another system is churning up. It may peter out at the coastline here or find some life and head north. Folks, this was the scene in Tasmania. Wind says, I'll take that wave. Thank you very much. The extra tropical storm here intensified like wild yesterday and dropped the worst flooding in decades. We're going to have pressure and radar forecasts, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you